SMT Nation, we back Nation. Big network update out of T-Mobile. It's very interesting. I love the cutting-edge tech. You guys know I do all these videos. These are the ones I personally like the most. Uh, they get me amped up and looking forward to, you know, these these new technology advancements. So this is, this is really cool. Very important for the T-Mobile network. I'll explain why in this video. Link for the article in the description. Also in the description, the real SMT Buy Me A Coffee link. Buy us a coffee, support your favorite creators. Link in the description. And of course, if you're looking for that incredible value, great deal, an awesome T-Mobile network experience, you'll get it from our partner, Mint Mobile. Mintmobile.com forward slash Sneed. Use that partner link. It's in the description. I still see the deflation promo pricing. It's active. Take advantage of that offer while it's still there. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the... The post that's over on the tmobile.com news page. T-Mobile revs up 5G with four carrier aggregation. All right, now this um, specific methodology or technology has been utilized in LT for a long time. I mean, carrier aggregation has been utilized to increase capacity for years. But this is going to be a step forward with regards to 5G SA or standalone 5G networking, progressing towards, you know, 5G advanced features. So four carrier aggregation means you're going to have four simultaneous connections to four different channels. Each channel has its own amount of bandwidth. So you got yourself, you know, a pretty capacitive experience if you can combine all the network assets that are on the 5G and our side, combine all those speeds together in aggregate, and get some good throughput. Uh, so it says here, and we're, we're going to look at the details, peak speeds topping 3.3 gigs in recent tests. Uh, I don't know if that's in the lab or if that is like real world, So, but that's still pretty phenomenal. 3.3 gigs. Uh, what we want to take a look at is what they use in terms of assets. Okay, so uh, five channels of sub-6 gigahertz spectrum. Right, so millimeter wave not involved. You got the 2.5 gigahertz 5G UC. Right, they use two channels of that. Typically for T-Mobile, that's going to be like a 100 megahertz channel and then a 60 megahertz channel. Right, it might be 140 sometimes, but that's kind of what it's going to be for those two channels. And then there's a channel of 1900 megahertz, which on LTE was band two. So I think in this case it's N25. I'm not sure about the bandwidth there. Maybe maybe 20, maybe 30 megahertz. I don't know. They've got a lot. Remember, they've got PCS Spectrum that they owned, and then they also took Sprints. Right, so there's that. And then it, one channel of 600 megahertz, which is probably going to be 20 megahertz, which, by the way, let me throw this out there. For those of you that are unaware, uh, T-Mobile has started to completely refarm most markets away from all 600 megahertz on NR right away from LTE. So if you don't have a 5G phone and you're on the T-Mobile network, better get with the program. You're about to be in trouble uh, once they make that transition. So we're probably looking at what, 20 megahertz, maybe 30 or 40 megahertz band uh, 25 potentially, maybe, right? That's, 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 those are nice chunks. So we're looking at 200 to 250 megahertz of spectrum, right? Somewhere in the neighborhood, uh, depending on how much of the 1900 is available and how much of the 2.5 is available because i don't see it listed here now the first phone to take advantage of the 5g sa features like four carrier aggregation is going to be the samsung galaxy s23 so with updates and firmware updates and things like that they can combine those channels and give you that capacity so if you want 3.3 gigs per second you'd have to have t-mobile uh <laughs> you know with the four carrier aggregation You'd have to have a Samsung Galaxy S23, and uh, yeah, then you're, you're golden. Now, I think this is going to be really important for the, the home internet piece. I think I think it's going to be critical that some of the, the, the gateways that T-Mobile is going to be utilizing in the future, they've got to get with the program. They've got to be able to harness these powers and these features. It's good that it's on the, the mobile handset side, but T-Mobile does multi-purpose the network. And home internet usage is very high, like extreme data demands. People are using terabytes of data, right? So, yeah, it's going to have to serve that dual purpose. 
cutting edge tech from T-Mobile. We're going to be looking forward to seeing what AT&T and Verizon bring to the table later this year and moving forward because they got lots of C-band. They've got other channels that they can do, you know, CBRS and such. Millimeter wave, those things are really exciting. We'll see how that plays out. But T-Mobile showing some incredible stuff here. Very exciting times. Look forward to more of their cell splits, small cell builds, investment into millimeter wave, and then stuff like this. What do you guys think of this tech? What are you excited about? Uh, how do you think it's going to play out? When is this going to go active? When is this going to go live? Anybody seeing it? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.